Back <laughs> to why are we competing? Why are we competing for the intro? All right, it's not always your show, Anna. So, Anna, just because we're doing Love Island reviews, she thinks that like she runs I'm the show. I'm used to like introducing our podcast, so it's and if you don't natural. listen to our podcast, by the way, you're not welcome here. Yeah, you're not welcome here. <laughs> like, get the fuck out. <laughs> so, Joking. It's week three. Love Island All Stars week three. This week's been a mad. It's been a madness. We have so much tea. I wanted to do like reviews throughout the week, but it's just too much. It's too much of a dedication. Yeah, we're not really dedicated that much. Yeah, but how wicked would that be? What, every if, day? If we live together, we could do like quick reviews. Every single day. Yeah, yeah it's true. Then it'll be more up to date as well because I feel like I hate some people right now and then next week they might be like amazing. Exactly. That's the weird thing about Love Island is like literally you could just not like someone one week and the week after you love you love them yeah like Callum now I like him yeah or like Toby now I don't like him exactly and I loved him before exactly it's, I can't keep up with my own emotions but that's what just proves to you by the way that what? like it's a tv show and people need to remember that it's like such an edited tv show and like it shows certain parts of your personality at yeah. some point of your life which everyone may have yeah but it just like highlights those moments and doesn't show all the rest of yeah, it. Yeah, because it doesn't make sense how we can like hate someone, then love someone, then hate someone, then love someone. Like obviously we don't know them as a whole. Obviously we're not seeing the whole picture. Yeah, you even said when you saw me on Love Island, like some at some point I didn't come across like a likable person. Yeah, yeah. So but you're not that much of a like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. You're shaking the sofa so much here with Anna talk. She's like this, you know. Am I? Going for Love Island, the gun things. Yeah. Am I? Like, the tea is gonna fall over me and no, get burned. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's start this. Okay, so the first thing I was gonna start off with. Oh, you see, I do. You're right. I do. You do a lot of having, but I'm gonna get burnt this episode. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big mistake. <laughs> Fucking get your tea. Okay, so the first one I, I thought we'd talk about is Hannah Tyler. Mitch and Liberty leaving. Leaving. Well, that, that was deadly. That was brutal. I did not expect Hannah to leave. Like, I mean, too. She's so like lovable in there. She's friends with all the boys. They done her dirty. Yeah, and she was like top. Was she not number three favorite couple? Favorite. Yeah. I don't think it was favorite couple. Favorite person. Because I don't think it was because of Tyler. I don't think it was because of Tyler at all. It was, was, she was definitely top three because of her her own personality. Exactly, and like. How did she get kicked out like that? But she's just so sweet. But like, Toby was like, is it just that she's so niche that is someone for her gonna come through the door because she's so niche? What, is, what does he mean by that? I don't know. What does he actually mean? I feel mean like maybe he means because she's got such a unique personality and unique, unique look, like someone has to be so into her type. Like someone like, you know what I mean? I'm very niche. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm very niche. I think I'm niche. Only. I mean, you are, but a lot of guys would go for you, but like a lot of guys wouldn't go for me. You're such an attention seeker. I'm, liar. Not, I'm not saying it's You're not such an attention seeker. It's not outstandingly stunning, all right? It's because my personality is quite like, like very, you know, feisty and fiery and alpha and like dominant, and like men get scared of that shit. They want a little baby, like tweety bird. Did you not see me on uh, Love Island? Yeah, but you're still, you're still very much in your feminine. I don't think so. I'm a scary bitch. I'm scary oh, ass bitch. We're both scary Don't take that away from me. Anyway. All right, okay, so, good. yeah. So, I was pissed off that Hannah left. I was not I was sad. I was really sad. Very sad. I almost, like, my eyes watered yeah. when she left. And I was really, like boss, really though. upset when Mitch left. Like, I almost was like, fuck this. I don't want to watch it no more. Oh, yeah. It's going to be boring now. Like, what is the point of Love Island now Mitch has left? Honestly, like, can we talk about it? Like... He brought the entertainment and he was just so fun to watch. We need people on our screens that are fun to watch. But what were the producers thinking? Like, getting rid of Mitch? Like, what were they thinking? I know. They He's the like... funniest person on TV. Like, yeah. he needs his own show. Yeah. But you know what's funny? is Basically... So when, when he came out, I had to follow him because I was like, Do you know what? Like, you brought me too much entertainment. I have to follow you. Um, and like, he gets so much shit for like being messy Mitch, like messing girls around. I think he's got some kind of like online arg beef with KD, by the way. Does he? Have you not seen like, he's putting things on his story, like KD keeps talking about me and then KD did like some long statement. In KD's statement, she wrote like, it's unfortunate that some people find him entertaining when his behavior is just basically being like degrading women or something. Can I, can I say something? Women. Yeah. But I'm like, I'm trying to understand. Like, was he that bad? No, no, no. Can I say something? Like, yeah. Can I say something? Look, Mitch's behavior on the outside is actually what you would consider normal, right? You know that. 
like right. every guy is doing that on the outside like he starts seeing a girl actually she puts him off a bit she gives him the ick so he starts seeing another girl he starts chatting to that girl and then he's like actually i don't know if i like that girl and then he starts chatting that's normal on the outside because it's the villa no but also because he's doing it in front of their faces yeah but well sorry i don't know it's not his fault he's confined to that space 24 hours a day but look the thing is the way he did it I like, I'm trying to figure out, look, it's a bit messy, but it wasn't that messy that people are making out. Like, like, yeah, he was talking to Lib and Demi. And messy was, is Georgia. Georgia's messy, mate. Yeah, but like, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, he wasn't that messy. Like, he liked Lib, but then at the same time, he really liked Demi. He he said the same thing to them both. That's the only thing that he went wrong yeah. with. Because he told He them, forgets he's being recorded. Yeah, he told them both that they're his number one. Other than that, though, like, he was quite honest with them all yeah he was honest with like he was honest with Liv that he wanted to be open yeah. and i think he kind of made it obvious he wasn't into her so like i yeah. don't know in, i think in fact quite, it's like he's pushed to the point where he actually has to say like i'm not into you i think the people that i find like percy like bad to women or like bad or women that are bad to men is people that blindside you and they like literally yes. make you have no idea like they act like they're so into you yeah. and they act like they they really like you and then really like, like narcissists basically yeah. they're the ones that i'm like <gasps> like when you don't expect it like what like what toby did to arabella like what Whoa. The fuck? Or, like, yeah. shocking stuff like that otherwise if you're open and you're telling them you're open then are you, yeah are you that bad? but anyway so anyway yeah i was upset about mitch i like lib as well she's i like so lib too lib is sweet she's a sweetheart and you can tell she's got a good, good heart. heart and like and she, she, honestly i think she's beautiful inside out she just needs to value herself more yeah, but as her. as women we need to stop telling the guy like i know what i'm worth i know what i deserve you need to come with the right energy i deserve like even me even telling my boyfriend why don't we just move that way yeah fuck yeah. talking like that even i've that way even i've done that in the past like i know what i deserve and this is the kind of man i want and i know i've got a good heart and i'm pretty and i'm this and that i like, do that it's just, really bad i do it as well i do it with my fucking boyfriend like Mandy, shut the fuck up. Just move that way. 100%. Let's just agree. move that way. I, I agree. Um, but you never know. Maybe she'll watch it back and learn from it. Yeah. We all learn all, all the time. We're all learning. All right. <laughs> so who's the next people we're talking about? Um, all right. So I thought we'll start off with Tom and Molly. Like, obviously, they coupled up. They were a favourite couple. Yeah. I really like them together. I love Molly. Like, she's probably... She's, my she's probably my favourite girl in there 100%. now that Hannah's gone. Yeah. She's my favourite. Like, she's classy, graceful. Like, she's just boss. Like, she's got confidence. You can fucking tell. Yeah, nothing's knocked her confidence. I really like her. I hope she, she wins. Uh, me too. I, I want her to win. Well, at the moment, I never know what happens next week. I think she's actually friends with a girl that we know. Like, a Kayla girl, that influencer. Is she? I think they're, like, best friends. And I really love a Kayla. A Kayla. And... If that's her friend, it just makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I can tell from like just watching her that like she's a nice girl. Yeah, and Tom seems like a gentleman. Tom something. really seems like a gentleman. Yeah. Like I don't know there's something about him. Like I get because people are always like, what is it that girls see? Like he's a bit like from what I've seen in the comments, he's a bit boring and like he's even that like, good looking. But, but you I said he see... knows the difference between a good girl and a bad girl, and he ain't one of those guys that can get like seduced or fooled. Yeah. He's, that's why I feel like that when I told you yesterday, he's in very much in his alpha. Like, that, that's what I meant. Yeah. Like, he's quite, like, in set, control. In control and, like... And he's got control of his, like, dick. You know, men who can control their, like, sexual desires? Because you could see, like, Georgia was laying it on fucking thick, yeah? yeah? She was like, I only had two chaps chat of him. Yeah, <laughs> she was laying it on thick. And then he was just like straight up like i'm happy i'm with molly it's going really well if i had my own choice i would have chosen her because we've already seen each other on the outside i want like he's very loyal and he doesn't yeah. even need to be he didn't even need to be at that point it was yeah. literally like a few days he didn't need to be but he was yeah so we're here for molly and tom georgia really tried with tom and then like she had that argument with molly. she got baited basically and she was, you know what's the maddest thing like she was fully gaslighting molly and saying you're only acting like this because of callum like that was stressful. so gaslighting like, and you know what the level of lies like she thinks she's mrs georgia still your man <laughs> sorry i'll be honest i don't give a shit i'm saying it on the fucking podcast it's my podcast, it's not a podcast my name. fucking youtube channel <laughs> all right i say whatever i want i'm not scared of no islander it's giving thirsty Thirsty. It's given no, like you want attention. You need you want, a man's attention. You need to try and seduce every man because you want to be that girl that every man wants. 
But she like, is my like, is there no men in York or something? Like there's suddenly like she just wants every man to fancy her, every man to want I her. I don't know, Manny. She is stunning. She so, is, like I think it just automatically happens that guys like her. Yeah, but she's she's laying it on thick with Tom when she's with Callum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like it's trying to seduce and him. then lying about it to Callum. Yeah, 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 I get what you mean. I, I don't know, that's the vibe I get. When I watch her, I feel uncomfortable. I'm sorry, she's like fake crying to Arabella. And then she's like laughing and sniggering with Toby. And then she's like, I'm right. How do you rate someone belittling someone and disrespecting someone so much like that? Like, I'm blindsiding you someone. You see the difference, yeah, between Kaz and Georgia. Kaz, when Chris picked her at the recoupling, yes. went up to Arabella and hugged her and yes. then he said and to, then stuck it on Chris. And then said to Chris that was rude. Yeah. Yeah. The difference, can you see the difference? Like Georgia, I rate it. And what she's Toby fake. did was I'm worse. Sorry. She's like, I'm confused. I'm confused with figuring out, catching up. Make up your mind, mate. You already had shit going on on the outside. That means you already have deep connection, deep history. <laughs> like said, a very deep, in-depth history connection. If you have a very in-depth history connection, then you're not figuring things out. You already know. I already <laughs> know if I want to get back with my ex. Everybody already knows. It's a yes or a no. You Not just really, know because when I when my boyfriend was my ex and when he came back I wasn't sure. I mean I knew that like it wasn't closed. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know if you still have feelings for that that person if the door's still open. Oh yeah, so yeah, be yeah, straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew I had feelings. Yeah, you know you have feelings. If you have feelings, yes or no. She just doesn't want to tell Callum straight up that she had fe she has, has feelings. feelings because well obviously she has feelings because Toby's one of the off. But then again she's gaslighting Callum. She's like, you're trying to make me feel bad. Yeah, yeah, and she's trying to find an excuse she's like, to like do a runner and put it on him. Yeah, she's gaslighting. Yeah, basically. She's gaslighting like, Molly, she's gaslighting Callum. Are you invalidating my experience? Oh my God, I'm gonna walk away. I'm gonna walk away and I'm gonna jump on Toby's dick because you're invalidating my experience. <laughs> That's gaslighting. That's gaslighting, yeah? Yeah, trying to put blame on someone else. You don't need to try and find a reason that you wanna get you on Toby. What? Just say it straight. Do you know the way, feelings? The way she should have gone about this situation is this, yeah? Toby's picked her. Like, she should have said to Toby, like, what you did, the way you done it was wrong. You should have told Arabella first. Look, obviously, I like the fact that you still like me. Yeah. But you should have gone to Arabella first because what you did to her was wrong, number one. Number two, she should just be straight, straight up. up. I've, I've always had feelings for him. I'm not sure, like, if it's closed or not. Like, because of my deep in connection history thing, yeah. I obviously still have feelings for him. And let's not forget, at the beginning of the fucking show, she was, like, with Toby and Toby mugged her mm. off. So obviously you're gonna have feelings. Yeah. Like yeah. you didn't leave him, he left you. By saying he's open to her, mm. he mugged her off. Mm. Because after getting to know someone so deeply on the outside, deep, if deep, you're, deep. if it's so deep, apparently yeah. so deep the connection. So <laughs> if, if he's open in the villa, like when other people say they're open, like Mitch or Callum or whatever, you've just met the person, you're getting to know them, of course you're gonna be open. Right, but at that stage- When you have such a strong history with someone, deep. You're either open, it's like me, and it's like me getting back with my ex, yeah, and saying, oh, like, I need to be open for a while, because, yeah. like, yeah, it's just no, a, it doesn't make sense, you can violate them or not. It's a violation. That's why it didn't make sense for Molly to stick around with Callum, because when he was talking about being open, she was like, this is not making sense. Yeah. We, we even getting back together, we're not. Yeah, because there's no need to be open at this stage. You know that person. You, you know, know that 100% that person. Yeah, yeah, I rate Callum so much for the way he, he behaved that whole, like... Yeah, handled like a all gen, those, like He a handled man. it so well. The way he was like, do you know what? I'm more upset for Arabella because of, like, the what they... Yeah, he impressed me a lot. Me like, too. A lot. Me too. The way he handled it, I was just like, wow. He was like, you've hurt... Ar like, do you not see, see people's feelings? Yeah. He was like... Like this whole about being brave, he was like, that's not brave. That's just, did he say stupid? Like that's, this, I feel like Toby, like how much of a, that's so sad because I love Toby. Yeah. I love Toby but, you so know, much. I see him in a different like, light. Like how cold can you be to do that to someone? Like leave them up yeah. there standing. Like I don't get it. I took a risk. You do, you can take risks in a way where you're not hurting people's I'm feelings. I'm blindsiding them and shocking them. Like how bad is shock to your system? Yeah. I, like an embarrassment. Arabella literally went on Love Island to get embarrassed twice. Once by Chris, once by Toby. And she's like, thank fuck you didn't go on that show. I know, thank fuck I didn't go back on there. That is just the worst thing. Like, I don't understand. It's not about taking a risk and it's not about being brave. You can yeah, just be and he's coming up with all these weird poetic things. Take, take the bull by the horns and f favor fortunes, the great, like all these bollocks to try and make it sound like, 
Oh, and I rate, that. I rate it. I rate it. Yeah, I rate. There's you rate much someone much hurting a girl's feelings like and that. another guy and a hurting Callum. Yeah, like I don't rate that. Like I don't care if you pick me yeah. ten times over. It. Don't hurt another girl in the process. Yeah, like that. It just you can sit out there smiling, letting everybody go to pieces. Yeah, the thing is, you know what? You can actually like. You can hurt someone in the right way. Like that was in yeah. the wrong way. Like yes, you could have just told Arabella, like I'm not feeling it, and I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go back to Georgia. It would have hurt her, but it would have been in a respectful way. Yeah. The way he did it was disrespectful. It was. And it, it oh, was. Mate, he got that girl even more gassed. He's like he poured his heart out to me at the fire pit, pulling at my heartstrings. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, anyway, right. So, Callum, I, I'm so glad now that George is with Toby because I feel like now, hopefully, they'll get voted out. I want them yeah, out. I don't want to see them. them. Don't want to look at them. And but I Callum was still right what he said because them two together are just two kids. Two kids, yeah, literally. literally. I hope that someone comes in for Callum and, like, I actually really like him, you know. I think from what it is, like what I figured out with the whole Callum Molly situation, like he wasn't straight up with Molly that he doesn't want to get back with her. He didn't want to hurt her but at the beginning. Yeah. Like that's why he kept saying, oh, I'm not sure. But he obviously doesn't want to be back with her. Like yeah. he just doesn't. And I hope like someone comes in for him, really. Who, Callum? Yeah, I hope someone comes in for him. Do you know what it is? I, when I look at Callum and Molly, yeah, at the beginning I didn't really like Callum because I was like, he's not being straight with Molly. Molly huh? But as time's gone on, I think that what happened in their relationship, because I see Callum as a proper gentleman, mm -hmm. the way he handled that whole situation of Toby choosing Georgia, I see Callum as a gentleman. So what could have gone wrong? Why did it end after three and a half years? I do think that in that relationship, like maybe it got to the point that Molly may have pushed him away maybe um because obviously like i heard at the beginning her talking about like engagement and like stepping forward and yet a hundred percent you need to have those conversations but i kind of like it kind of reminds me maybe of like a bit of my relationship like you know it gets to that point that you're kind of like picking at things and bickering too much and like getting annoyed and then the happiness and the bubbliness and the excitement of the relationship just like goes and crumbles yeah it crumbles and i was and then you just become like too resentment Two, sorry, two resentful people living in a household and like men have much less tolerance for yeah. these things than women. Like we are more likely to fight through things and work through things and put, put up with a lot of like ups and downs. And whereas like men are actually up and go because they're very like self-centered. Yeah, but you know what? I was being a proper stalker last night. Yeah, I was in bed and I started scrolling down Callum's Instagram, yeah? Like a proper stalker. Yeah. And I went down to like when they first met on Love Island. I just got really sad. Like, I, was, I, I did that with Molly's I became really emotional. Like, there's a clip of him when he first, like, saw her in the villa and the way he was when she was walking around the villa and he was obsessed with her. And then, like, after the way they were, like, go travelling the world. Travelling everywhere. Looked so happy. And it's just, like, it really made me really sad. But, do you know what it is? Like, why does that happen in relationships? Like? Do you know what made, makes me more sad? Is once you both get in, like, a couple in front of each other and start snogging and kissing and snuggling and cuddling with, someone, with else. someone else in front of your ex that's like nail on the coffin that's like it's done there's nobody got in my opinion there's so nobody going, going back. back after that you've literally burned out the last touch of spark there could have been but just like how does it go from being so in love and like happy to like doing things with other people in front of each other. How does that Yeah, happen? I don't know, that's like really They had a dog together. Strange. They had a dog together. you need to stop saying this, having a dog together. It's a big thing. No, it's, it's like not. It's having a child together. It's definitely not like having a child together. It's a big, it's a dog It's not together. like having a child together at all. You had a dog with your ex. Well, when I was 19. Yeah. I was like, he's not like 20. Okay, well, thanks for making me feel really old. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, moving on. Chris and Joanna, do you know what? I'm really disappointed in Chris. Yeah. He was fully, I don't know if anyone else clocked it, but he was fully egging on Toby. He was like the devil on his shoulder. And yeah. yeah. And just because, just because he wanted Toby to do that to Arabella. Like but he, why? You already hurt her. He was smiling at the fire pit. When she was getting mugged off. When she was getting mugged off. Well, he was on your season. He's your friend. I mean, look, he's cool. I'm going to say he's my friend. Like... He's like, like, I know him. Yeah, we're like, cool. He, we're cool. He's yeah. not my friend. I thought he was like the nicest guy ever. Well, you never know. I don't know. Maybe it's edited. Know. Maybe, like, maybe it's well. edited because you know what? I remember on my season at one point, they showed around the fire pit. Amber was saying like, I like you under her breath to me. And it didn't show me saying, love you back. Yeah. And it just showed me going, and I did say, I love you back. Oh. So like, maybe you're smiling at something else. Maybe you were smiling at something else and they put that camera 
footage there. Yeah. Like, you never know. You never ever and know. And maybe Arabella's done really nasty things to him in the villa that hasn't been shown for him to have, like, a vendetta against her. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? It's a show. It's a show. Um, but anyway, him and Joanna, like, Joanna is such a nice Nicest person. girl ever. Obviously, me and her didn't get a good start on my season because it's, she was the reason that, like, Michael left Amber, which is such a shame. Same with Arabella because of the Yuande situation. And, but they're both such nice girls. Because yeah. once I got out of the villa and, like, I spoke to them, like... Yeah, she loved Joanna. Top girls. Joanna's so sweet. I don't know if her and Chris are going to work out, but she deserves, like, a top guy. Top guy, yeah. yeah. She's, she's the best. She really does. She's just come in at a bad time, like... I yeah, think. it's an awkward time to come in. Awkward time to Who come else in. we got? Kaz and Casey. Do you think that's... Oh, I love Kaz. Me too. She's so cute and she got upset at that whole fire pit situation when, like... What do you think about that? Like, I, okay, this can we talk about that? Yeah. What the whole... Because it's so related to Kaz. Okay, go on then. So, so, like, Anton told Georgia H. Yeah. About voting thing, but yeah. I really don't think that Anton did anything in a malicious way at all. But he shouldn't have done it. Yeah, but he's just—you need to see it like this. There's no boy packs, girl pack. Like Anton's closer to Georgia H than he is with the boys. Hannah was closer to Anton with the boys. Toby's closer to Kaz than he is, than he is with some of the boys. Yeah, like, Toby's not close to some of the boys. You know what it is? Is when they, when you're put in that situation in Love Island where you have to pick someone to leave, like, and you're together as a group of boys and you have to pick. Like, you, they even said it. We are not going to speak of this after. Yeah, but didn't he just say, I had to fight for you? Didn't, isn't that all he said? He was like, everyone voted you, like, to go. Like, I think he said something like that. And he was like, oh I, don't, I had to fight for you. It's just like, it makes everyone else look like dickheads because they don't want her to know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know and, I mean? I feel like and they don't have a choice as well. They have to pick someone. So no matter what, someone's getting hurt. This is what I don't understand. What I don't understand is, like, you know, like, Kaz and Georgia H getting really upset, Yeah. But why are you getting upset? Because someone's got to go. So like someone's got to go. So why did, why should it be Hannah and not you two? Do you know what I mean? Really, all of you are in balance. All of you are equals. It's because when you're in there, you're closer than other people. So like I remember when I was in there, like I was super close to like certain people, like or a lot of the people. So if they voted me to go, I would have been like, what the hell? That's why I always got saved when it was down to like the Islanders. They always saved me because I was so close to them. Oh, okay. If they voted me out, I'd be like, what the fuck? That's how it is. It's like, you just are so sure of your okay. connection with the other islanders that like, there's no chance that they're gonna vote okay, me out. Okay, so basically Kaz and Georgia H felt that way because of their connection with the boys. Yes. So that makes sense to me because obviously I wasn't in there so I didn't really understand. I was thinking like, why are they more special than anyone else? Like, if someone's got to go and everyone's special. Everyone's special. But now I get it. There's certain people that are closer. So that's why Kaz was upset because she doesn't want to know. Like, she doesn't even hear it. Mm. Like, it hurts. Yeah, but I don't understand why Georgia H threw Anton under the bus like that. Like, yeah. brother, she threw him under the bus. Like, it was an annihilation. I know. In front of everyone. I don't know and why. the one person that's got your back more than anyone loves you more than anyone. Exactly. And then you do that to him. It's that like she bad. wanted the whole bit of turn. But I think she was in just a really bad, bad way. Bad bad way. Casey had just walked in and yeah. she had a... His yeah, deep but history with him. I rated her the next morning, obviously, like apologizing so much because I mean, I love Georgia H, you know, she's yeah. a lovely girl. I love Anton, so I didn't really understand what was going on. It yeah. must have been a moment of I think like she was already sensitive about other things, and yeah. then that she just used that as a as a reason to burst. Kind yeah. of thing. Um, Mandy, well, oh, sorry, that conversation between Georgia H and Casey about the granddad. I, I had to rewind it and watch it like three times. I couldn't stop laughing. Why? I could not stop laughing. I can't believe they aired that. Why? But they actually aired that. It was the like, fucking funniest thing ever. Like literally, me. I had like Kazakh. Like I was like, to my, I just didn't like to my it boyfriend. I, thought, I was like, take your headphones out and just watch this conversation. Even he burst out laughing. Why? Because he's like, I just feel like he embarrassed her. What do you mean? But then she kept, she kept digging, digging, give me an answer. She why? Like, why? Me an answer. Like, he was like, hey, do you really want to know the reason? You said that you could see my dead granddad. <laughs> I mean, what, what, but people are, there are people who are really spiritual and like for them it's like a religion. Mandy, imagine you start dating someone and then, they, and you've just like lost your granddad and then they're like, I can see your granddad and he's, he wishes you well. I'll be like, what? Maybe it was like a feeling, an epiphany, like he wishes you well. I don't know. Okay, yeah. We no wonder. The guy was yeah. like, fuck this. I was so like, funny, her reaction, she was like, I'm not wearing any more of my spiritual clothes this week. <laughs> that cute. Oh, I think someone that's gonna have to be with Georgia is gonna have to accept all these like, because you know what? I think spiritual people is like great, but it can be a bit weird. Yeah, it is a bit weird. 
I don't know. I personally can't be with someone that's like that spiritual. I can't. Yeah, spiritual people maybe mesh well with other spiritual Spir people. Yeah, right? exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like same with any, same with any belief though. System is better when. Yeah. You know. Anyway, so again, okay, Kaz got really upset. Yeah. She walked off. She didn't actually cause a scene, or she's actually very like it keep me out the drama, yo. Yeah, she's in control. She's very much in control of her emotions at all times. Even when like Tyler went on a date with Hannah, uh -huh. she like she cried a little bit secretly to Toby. Yeah. That was it. She yeah. doesn't cause a scene. She doesn't cause a scene. Unlike me, she stays out of all drama. She's like done with drama. Oi, Kaz is killing me. Yeah, do you know why she's killing me? Why? Her eyes, the way she's looking at everyone. She's, just looking, at everyone. she's looking at everyone like. What the hell? What is this circus I am in? Yeah, and she's always like, it's a madness. Yeah. This is wild. Like, yeah. she's in shock. So do you think Kaz and Casey are a thing? Do you know what it is? Yeah, the banter though is like oh, really, really bouncing off each other. Like the, the, the whole snake dick thing. He's got like, sick banter. Yeah, did you think that was like funny or like, cause some people were like, it's crude. No, it's really funny. I, I, I thought, it was, I thought it was hilarious. And there was another part where the like the camera went on them and they were just bantering on their own by the bar. I don't know what they were talking about, but yeah, they it, they bounce off each other. Yeah, they bounce off each other. Anyway, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um, okay, so obviously Georgia H now has told Anton that you know she's she gets a sexy vibe from him and she likes she, she, likes she gets a sexy vibe. <laughs> I I don't get it. I really feel for Anton. Everyone's like, your husband material. You're stunning. You're a gentleman. You're a ten ten. You're every girl's dream. You t tick off every box. Nobody wants him. Yeah, it was same on my season. Is that the same happened on your season? Same thing. So there's something that we don't know that you do. There's, there's I, something honestly, that we don't know that you do. Tell like you. what is it, Anton? I honestly don't. You live with Anton. Like what is it? We need to bring Anton on to our actual podcast. Literally, I want him on. Like, firstly, I miss him so much. But like, I just want to hear his take on like the inside. I'm gonna be like Anton. What's going on? You're the full package. What are you doing to scare away these women? He doesn't actually do anything to. to I don't get it. I honestly don't. Do you get know it. what it is? Because women always go towards the most toxic. Do you think? Because Tom, Tom is not toxic, and he gets look at Toby. Like Toby is toxic, and. Um, a lot of girls fancy him. Yeah, but Tom's not, and he gets those girls. Yeah, I don't know. Or they're Josh. Not. He hasn't been top. Well, I mean, he's, he's naughty though. He's naughty. He's yeah. naughty. I don't know what it is, but I mean, do you think? Because you know, for women, romance can build. It's yeah. not. It doesn't need to be an instant thing. Yeah. For men, it's more like I instantly see you. I know if I'm gonna fancy you or not. Men don't build romance. Men like imagine like you've had many ex boyfriends. Yeah. At one point in the beginning, you were like hell no, and then you end up falling in love with them. Yeah, I mean, so women are quite different in that. Exactly. Sense. I hope that Georgia H does genuinely build some real feelings for him and realizes that he's actually. He a likes her and he, he treats her the way she deserves to. Be imagine treated. Anton's like a dark horse, and then like he turns out to be like. This big villain in the show. Imagine, imagine, imagine she finally yeah. falls for him and then he's like, no. Yeah, that would be mad. That would be horrible. Okay, okay so finally, finally we've got Sophie and Josh, which I'm really feeling like yeah, I really same. like them. They're just going so smooth. Like, I don't even know what to say about them. There's nothing to say. They were just perfect. They were both open. They were both flirting around, but they're never disrespecting each other. Yeah, that's how it should be. Yeah. The way they've done it is how it should it's be. It's coming across really genuine. Yeah, and it's coming, it's coming across grown. And obviously Josh is like probably my favourite guy in the whole villa. Yeah, Mandy loves him up because like he is just so like fearless. I just he's just such an alpha male, he's so brave. He's just not scared of anyone and he'll just stand up like he did a five pin. He's like, I think I'm the only one in this place that don't chat fucking bollocks. Like he's just <laughs> sick. I love him. Who do you want to win? Molly and Tom. Molly and Tom. Tom. Right now is my favourite yeah. to win. And who you want kicked out? Toby and Georgia. Toby and Georgia. Yeah, goodbye. Bye. Bye. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed our Love Island All Stars review week three. We'll be back next week for some more gossip. Bye. Bye. Bye.